Search is a great way to find out things online. But there are certain things that we might not want to find out. There are certain things that we might not want other people to find out about us. So there's an emerging interest as the internet has aged in the ability for people to control what information appears about them online. Let me give you an example. You're a kid, you do something dumb. You get arrested, maybe you get charged with some sort of misdemeanor. Now, sometimes that information is available to people searching online. The legal system has rules about how long certain pieces of information can remain something that someone can find out about you. So for example, at a certain point, I don't know what the rules are, I'm not a lawyer, but a certain period of time goes by, you can go to the court and you can actually have that record expunged. So I've been a good citizen since this, I haven't done anything wrong, and I can actually ask them to remove the information about this problem I had when I was younger. And they are required to do that, and once the information is gone, it's gone. However, online, not necessarily the case. Depending on where that information lives, that may be still accessible to people who are using Google. So this has started to become an issue for people who you know, want to be able to change. And this is you know, a pretty interesting and fundamental right that we feel like we have as human beings to overcome our mistakes, to change, to you know, live a certain way at some point in our life, and then to live on in a new life in the future uh, using different rules and obeying different principles um, and maybe in a way that we consider better. And, and to forget about our past. So in 2006, um, the European Union actually put into place some legal rules that give people protections that they can exercise online, particularly when it comes to search. So let's, let's look at how these play out. Um, so I'm going to go over here, and, and this is on Google. Now what I've done is I've looked up how do I remove things from Google search results. So let's say that I have some, there's some piece of information that when people Google me, they find it. Maybe it's a prior conviction that, again, is old enough that it's, uh, I've had it expunged, but it's still showing up in search results. Maybe it's an article that was written about me on some website that's slanderous and untrue or something like this. There's something out there that I don't feel like is appropriate for people to find when they search for me. And the people that are finding it are people that I don't want to find it, like employers, uh, potential romantic partners, just people that met me once, looked me up online, and they find out this terrible thing about me that's not not true, it's a long time in the past, and I just don't want it to appear anymore. So what do I do? Well, I, if I go to Google's website, I have this option down here, uh, request to have personal information removed, okay? Um, and so I have this, uh, there's this removal information form, okay? Um, and, and you know, the, the, one of the first things that Google tries to get you to do, which is reasonable, is to contact the webmaster that is maintaining the website on which the information appears. You know, the best way to get a page down is to actually take the page offline. Even if Google removes it from its search results, that doesn't mean the page isn't there. However, given how important search is, and given how much people use search to find things, Sort of this open question of, you know, if a page exists on the internet, even if there are a few links to it here and there, but it never shows up in the search results from any search engine, does that page actually exist or not? Because kind of no one will find it. If there's a page out there about you that has damaging information on it, but you know, there are very few links to it, and it never shows up in the Google search results for your name, maybe you don't care. Okay, so the first thing they suggest you do, contact the webmaster, trying to get the page taken offline. And that's not bad advice. Um, okay, now when I start to go down here, I'm gonna say remove information you see in Google search. Okay, um, now it asks me where the information is. Let's say it's in Google search results and on a website. And now here again, they're trying to steer me to contacting the webmaster to get this information take, taken down. But look at this, this interesting, um, drop down menu item that probably appeared around 2006. I want to have, I want to remove information about myself under European data protection law. I'm gonna pretend that I want to do that. It's gonna, I'm sure I'm not gonna be able to get through this. I've never done this. Um, okay, so I, I, now it directs me to this legal removals page. 
Um, and what happens from this point on, again, I'm not going to complete this process. I'm not from Europe, so I'm not legally entitled to use this mechanism. Um, but the, the person is, is uh, asked to submit information about themselves, the links that they want removed, some information so that their identity can be validated. And then what Google does is there's a team of people that review these requests and balance two competing pieces of information. Because this is where this idea of a right to be forgotten becomes very interesting from a societal perspective. We have, you know, particularly in the United States, very strong protections for free speech. And putting stuff online is a form of free speech. Unless, you know, we have very specific legal rules about what constitutes libel and slander, and those I think can be applied online. But in general, people online are, are free to say things that they want. And so these requests are weighed by Google, you know, looking at two things. One is how damaging is the information? And the second is, you know, does the public does Google feel like the public really has a right to know something about somebody? Should that appear in the search results for you? Um, you know, we don't want people using this to whitewash their history. If I've done a lot of terrible things, I shouldn't be able to create a search uh, profile that doesn't reflect that. If I've committed a lot of crimes, if I've written things online that are really hateful or really mean or whatever, I shouldn't be able to go to, to a search engine and create this artificial impression of myself. Because to some degree, when people search for me or for you or for your name or whatever, they expect to get back results that are relevant. So this is something to keep in mind, particularly as you age. You know, There is more and more information about us that is being accrued on the internet. Um, and it's probably worthwhile from time to time, and you don't have to think about this as an egotistical thing to do, to Google yourself. Do it in an incognito window or something so that it's not influenced maybe by your own personal history, but Google yourself, see what comes up. Go through a couple of pages of results, look at what's there. See if there are things there that uh, you're not comfortable with. At least be aware of what your search uh, results are gonna look like if somebody else does that for you, because I guarantee they will. Uh, they will, employers will, other people you meet will, and they'll be influenced by what they find online. So if there's stuff really out there that's very damaging, keep in mind that you do have some recourse and you can work with search providers to try to remove those results, but being aware of what's out there is pretty important.